new vlog day we're going to be taking a little trip up london to have a look at all the different film locations of films that i like hopefully you'll enjoy it as well so let's go So we're just waiting at my local train station. Uh, we're gonna head up to town, find some Marvel locations that they use for filming on location. I've done a little bit of research, so there's certain areas I know where to go, but I think a lot of it's just gonna be on the hoof, so we're gonna do some research as we go. I may not even stick to just Marvel. It might be DC, it might be all films. We'll just see how we go. There's some obvious locations that you've seen in films. I'm not gonna tell you what they are now. I'm just gonna turn up and show you what they are. Some of them people walk along every day. Some of them are a little bit more obscure that you think. Never knew that was filmed there. Welcome to London. What I'm gonna start doing is doing a new little web series about where movies were filmed in locations around the UK. I'm gonna start off in my hometown of London. We'll go on to talk about what scenes they are. Um, or what I would say is one, there will be spoilers. And two, if you haven't seen these films yet, why? So we're gonna start off around. You can't see it. So we're starting off at the Tower of London. I'm going to try and find exactly where the cameras were possibly set up so you can get the whole scene and then I'll pop the scene or still in to show you where it is. So first one will be Spider-Man Far From Home. So in Spider-Man Far From Home, obviously Peter Parker and all his friends are going on a uh, European trip to try and get over the aftermath of what happened in Endgame. Uh, in this scene, around about this area, Shit's going down, obviously, and I think round about here is where the uh, one of the Stark jets has landed. Happy, Peter, MJ, Ned are all standing there figuring out what to do, and then it gets blown to bits. So, yeah, again, spoilers. If you haven't seen it, a bit late now. There's a few more locations I want to show you around Spider-Man. So let's go. Hi guys, so the wind here was really really bad and the wind sock on my microphone was not really doing its job as well as it could have been. So this is following on from Spider-Man Far From Home where Mysterio and Spider-Man are having a fight on Tower Bridge where Spider-Man is trying to smash up all of Mysterio's drones that are causing all the monsters. Um, this is being overlooked by Nick Fury who's over in the shard which we'll see very soon as I pan round to that very tall building in the background. It's then when um, Spider-Man and Mysterio confront one another in the walkway between the two towers on the bridge, which has a glass bottom. If you ever go up there, it's quite interesting to see. And that's when Mysterio basically films him and tells the world that he's killed him and Spider-Man's the enemy. So, back to the footage. Now this is the Lloyds building in London, which, if you notice some of the side bits there, filmed for Guardians of the Galaxy. So this was used for the uh, scene on Xandar as the cityscape there. So I think this is where another shot was filmed. As you can see it's got that sort of different planetary landscape and I think if you look at the still that I put up it was shot round about here where there was a lot of explosions and stuff where Xandar was being attacked. So yet another one for film. Market, which was originally used for 
dike on alley. Um, there's a doorway to one of these shops that acted as the Leaky Cauldron. being refurbed at the moment so you can't really see the actual beauty of this little market. Obviously for you massive Potter fans out there you will know exactly where the door is for the Leaky Cauldron. It's possibly, I don't know if they use the pub. Um, if you know leave a comment below and uh, we will revisit next time and film the actual door. Yeah. Leadenhall Market, Harry Potter World. So sticking with Guardians of the Galaxy and Harry Potter, we're now venturing on to the Millennium Bridge. This was used in Guardians of the Galaxy for, again, a bridge that was in Xandar. Um, we're going to try and get a decent spot from the south bank of, to show whereabouts it was filmed. And then um, I'll put the picture in for that once we get the shot or close to it. And also in the Harry Potter films when Death Eaters coming to London. Uh, start firing their magic bridge to make it wobble and it eventually collapse in. For those that didn't know, when this opened, they had to close it pretty much about two weeks after. so you can see what it looks like after uh, post-production. Also, we've got the, uh, the City of London behind in that backdrop. It'd probably be a good uh, Xandar skyline. So it's possible that they did film it down just below us. So we're currently on the South Bank. Um, starting to get a little bit overcast which I'm not too fond on because I think it may piss down. I'm also getting bloody hungry so I think we may stop off to get somewhere to eat. Somewhere to eat? And then head on to our next location which is not a Marvel film or a DC film. Stay tuned. So the next location is actually on a book that uh, was adapted into a film. So I like reading Dan Brown books, so you can probably tell where this is going. So the next location we're going to is for the Da Vinci Code, and one scene was set in Temple Church, and we're gonna go see if we can have a little look around there. I'm not sure whether it'll be open, but uh, if not, we'll just film the outside. The doors are shut, don't think you can get in there, which is a shame, but part of it's filmed in there. See if there's a uh, another entrance somewhere. Ah, there we go. It is open. So, oh, got to pay to get in. That is one thing I'm not doing. So. Seen depicted is where they go in, they get accosted by Serena McKellen's character who is a grail hunter because they believe the holy grail is a, a tangible thing, which, which it's not. Yeah, there's gunfire and everything in there. Okay, right. So, what we'll do is I'll put uh, a small clip or a still in right about now. Now this 
next one might not ring any bells with anyone. So just heading outside in now. Problem is we can't film inside. So here we have Australia House. And again, for you hardcore Potter fans, may know what this is. Because from the outside, it's just another building. But inside is Gringotts Bank. It's just a shame we can't go inside to film. Now I've just had a quick look through the door and it's pretty much identical to the inside of Goblins with all the chandeliers and stuff. Goblins? Gringotts. With all the chandeliers and stuff hanging. Uh, I was lucky enough to go to Florida and went into Universal Studios and went into a Gringotts back there. So if it's anything like that, they've done an amazing job. So I'm definitely going to wait now because I've done a lot of walking. So let's go and find some food. Yep, Trafalgar Square. A couple of scenes filmed here. One was uh, Wonder Woman, VE celebrations, and also Captain America, VE celebrations was filmed around here. I was lucky enough to be going past when I was filming the Wonder Woman one. A couple of years back, I was on top of the bus. I was just going past that bit over there, um, back down Sharon Cross Road. But here's a question. If they both fought in World Wars, and there were celebrations in different universes. Were they celebrating the same one? Same VE day? Mm. Comment below. All right, so what we're doing now is we're gonna jump on one of the clippers on uh, by the pier and head towards Greenwich. Canary Wharf from Greenwich, because there's a few locations around there. That boat looks like it's sinking. Very low. Right, so we're on Clipper now. We're going to Greenwich. So, I'm not sure if you can see much out of the window. Oh, yeah, it's not too bad. So, uh, yeah, a bit of seeing on the boat. Right, so get a load of this, yeah. I've got a tray. What on earth am I supposed to put on that without it going on me? Jesus. Yeah, so we're heading to our next one now, which was featured in 4.2, The Dark World, which was a bit crap. Not his best work, but it's a filming location nevertheless. So let's go that way. Greenwich. This is the Royal maritime part of it. I can't remember what it's called. If you remember in 4-2 the old uh, dark elf ship come cutting through this part. Up through the middle there. And, uh, yeah, again, shit went down. Can you get me down please? I mean, I'm trying to vlog here. This has also been used for Pirates of the Caribbean and Les Mis, I believe, has been used for as well. As well as being quite historic. So Henry VIII was born here, don't you know? Now I was going to go to a f another few places today, but time's caught up on me. Travelling gets in the way as well, but I was going to make my way over to where the Hackney Empire was because there were two scenes from Captain America that was also filmed there. Uh, one scene was where he sat watching the old movie reels when he's small Steve Rogers. That was filmed in Hackney Empire. And also when he's now become Captain America, but he's going around doing all the uh, 
selling of the bonds where he's dancing with all these showgirls. That was also filmed in Hackney Empire, which I'll put some stills and stuff in now. But what we're going to do now is we're going to take one more trip over to Canary Wharf because there's one more location I need to film and that is for Star Wars. Big Star Wars fan. So I know it was one of two places and when I found out where it was I'd been through there so many times but not realised. So we'll head there now. Alright, so we're at Canary Wharf and this is a uh, where some of Rogue One were shot. I'll be very surprised if I don't get stopped here filming because of uh, security. We will see. Let's take a little track. Now, inside Canary Wolf Station was used in Rogue One for being on one of the Imperial warships. Um, once we get downstairs, I'll show you what I mean and add a little clip or still into that. Right, so all down here is where they filmed the Rogue One sequences. Uh, we're all running through here with K2SO. <coughs> so if I turn around, we'll all run through this part. Obviously, all the signage and all the doors blacked out to make it look like walls. <coughs> and all the escalators were also blacked out just to make them look like um, shoots, I think you couldn't actually see the stairs. That's all she wrote. It wasn't much of a vlog per se. It's quite busy uptown, and being that there's this coronavirus going on, didn't want to be hanging about too much, so probably making a ding 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 noise in there. I haven't told it different. Yeah, some Marvel locations. There's a couple that I wanted to get to, but didn't have time to get to because I wanted to beat all the rush hour. So yeah, back home. Yeah, so that's the end of the vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a nice thumbs up. We'll hopefully get uh, around to more movie places. I know there's another one in the mix that's closer to me. It's not uptown. So click the like, click the bell, click subscribe, which is the most important thing. And we'll see you in the next one. See you later.